Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Pitch Universe to the channel. Today I did a little little searching. I uh, did a little, little searching on, on the internet on how long a certain walk would be. I don't know if you haven't taken kids on a walk because that can be uh, can be quite <laughs> can be quite an uh, let's say experience, quite uh, quite an expedition. Sometimes you, you don't, you're not even hardly out of the car and they already start calling Daddy, are we nearly there yet? My feet hurt. <laughs> Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, I really have to do a wee wee now. Crying a lot, I ask you, do you need to go to the toilet right before we went into the car? And then they usually say, no, we don't have to go now. I, I already went about uh, five minutes ago. And then you have a two, 10 minute drive or 15 minute drive or whatever minute drive. It doesn't really matter because every time you get into uh, into the spot where you want to be, then they suddenly have to go. They have to go to the bathroom. It's just, it's annoying. But regardless of that, we had a, we had a nice little walk today. Um, here in the neighborhood, about 15 minutes uh, of driving away, we saw the big rock, the big stone. Which is a huge stone from the Ice Age in, uh, in a forest nearby. Went over there. And the little boy and girl, they were amazed at how big the big stone was. Daddy, it's a really big stone. Yeah, that's why it's called the big stone. It's, it's not called big stone because it's a little stone. That would be stupid. Could be entertaining uh, anyway to call it a little stone when it's really a big stone. And, and vice versa, but it's called a big stone because it is a big stone and uh, they were sitting on top of it and uh, they were looking o uh, on it and, and thinking, ooh, that's, uh, that's quite high, I don't, I don't want to fall off, lift me off, daddy, lift me off. So I, I lifted the little boy off and he decided to, to take a walk and then uh, try to take a look at uh, all the dirt down there and the, the dirty rotten leaves and get his hands all, uh, all dirty. But yeah, we, we, we had a good walk today and then I did some more searching. I went search searching through, through all the replay that I recorded and through uh, through the emails that you sent me because uh, believe it or not I, I can I get quite a few bits of, of replays sent my way out there's no way I can possibly feature all of them I would love to but I would have to give up my day job probably and then there would still be more replays coming my way even more than there are now and I still would not be able to feature them all so I did some searching and I found a uh, recording I made, I don't know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, some weeks ago, and uh, I, I named it Regular Stuff. And I still knew who sent me this replay. It's uh, Boog and Flugel in the uh, in Chaffee. Pop goes to turn on the VK. Um, he sent me this replay and he said, Well, for a regular guy like me, this is about as good as it gets. And it is for a very very brief moment, you know, like like this, this small, just like, you know, that small. It was a one, for, one versus four. And he has been trying to do the best for his team, to, to do a little, little bit of spotting and to preserve hit points and to do as much damage as possible without getting shot in return and pop went another turret apparently. And he's doing the right thing here. He's running away from this leopard because he knows that he will not be able to chase that leopard around the building. But he probably has view range on his side now. You can't, you can't really tell if, if players are uh, new players, if they have their crew skills sorted, if they have their crew skills mixed, maxed out. But Bugenflugel is uh, the lone teammate, uh, the lone green tank left now, which means that he has extended view range. It's one of those crew skills that kick in. They are down there in the bottom below. I don't quite know which the what the one on the right side is, but uh, that's the crew skill as well. And it's actually 100 Y realizes that he is spotted, and you see that Bogan waits just a little bit for that Escher 100 Y to turn around, and it's Escher 100 is still sitting there, and yeah, that, that shot missed. He's still in the cap. At least one of the tanks is in the cap. There's the Escher 100 Y. Can you shoot him now? The only one. He shoots the P43 bits, but he's spotted now. He's not spotted. No, still no light bulb, so that means that P43 bit <laughs> has got an abysmal crew. Can he... Yes, he can clear the issue 100. Why? The Leopard is into the cap as well with a one shot. And it might be... It, it could be a good idea that these uh, tanks are doing the red here, what the Reds are doing. Uh, uh, the Leopard is down as well, which means that it's just a P43 bit down there. 
Raising cap pressure is a good thing. Getting all three tanks into the gap is a good thing as well. But yeah, that issue 100 Y could have probably pinged the map a little bit to tell his teammates where Bulgan Flugel is. And where's that P43 now? Is he behind the play then? Not spotted here. Just enough to get a line of sight. Ooh! Yes, behind the rock because Bulgan has spotted himself as well. And his P43 is actually doing the right thing, tucking his butt up against the dead plane, sitting still in the cap, which means you do not lose your. Camel rating, he's out of the cap now. Yeah, he's back into the cap. Three seconds, four seconds. Right. Bulgan has to get a different angle. So he's relocating now. And the P43 is uh, <laughs> off the cap. And then his teammates are, are reaching at him. Why are you leaving the cap? This is uh, this is uh, cap and leave one tank alive. We, we can win this one. Just go back into the cap. And then the P43 be like, okay, I'll go back in the cap. And he's back in the cap. And you can see that Bulgan has got just enough height on the tank to spot is p43 he's behind the bushes and he's a light tank and he's he's probably got a better crew in it so he is not spotted while you're sitting behind the bush but he is spotted now can reset the cap just once more roll back behind the rock make the p43 shoot bait a shot then pounce on the top of the tank that's unfortunate he is on apcl but yeah he's a one versus one situation this is a this is a do or die situation then you resort to apcl because you can get it with credits anyway and this is as good as it gets. Look at that. Mastery Top Gun. A high caliber pools medal, defender medal, a scout kilometer of the lot. Thank you, mate, for sending that one in. As good as it gets, regular stuff. But wait, wait, there's more. There's more to come. Oh yeah, there's more to come. Look at this. Norish dude in the E75. Gonna take a sip. He has an epidemic. Because uh, this might. Uh, this is gonna take a while. We got six minutes. Six minutes and. Uh, well, above six minutes to uh, talk about this game. And um, Norish Dude. Norish sent me this one. And he actually stated in his email um, I had a bit of an enlightenment this game. Boys Brad is his, uh, his name. I was really thinking about my actions and uh, evaluating the situation. And I dare say I did alright damage for a player in T9 with 3k battles and helped out fairly, fairly well. I really hope you can get time to make a video about this. Keep making great content. Now, why am I featuring this video now? Well, I'm going to tell you. This guy uh, sent me an earlier replay when he started off on the channel and he was trying to do his level best to get up to tier 9, to get up to tier 10 without making stupid mistakes, without rushing in there, without going out sideways in tanks. He was trying to sidescrape, he was looking at the tutorial videos I made and he said, Martin, you're really helping me out. I, I like what you're doing. And just look at this. This is very simple stuff. Just go towards the corner of the building stop and then use the camera to look around and he's gonna go out sideways yeah he's popping the wall he's knocking the walls down there he is going to side scrape out yeah he's got the little bit of wall still there where's that e100 there he is somewhere where is that e100 he's yes he's there there we go look <laughs> i was gonna say he's gonna nail that sh shot down there but you can see he was side scraping out he bounced the shot and he's just taking his time evaluating the situation Really taking his time, a bit of an enlightenment, and he's thinking about his actions. And so far, mate, you haven't done all right. I mean, so far it's pretty shit. But uh, let's see what he can do now. He can't get that shot in on this E100. Can't get the shot in on the bat chat. You have to do a bit more, buddy. I mean, your team is uh, doing fine. By the looks of it, the Akpans E100 wants to have some help. Yeah, oh, you can shoot them. Yeah, yeah, you, you can shoot them. Bounce, good, good. But still. You can see, oh, I'm getting another sip. You can see that uh, that Norsh is uh, he's not doing anything fancy. He's not panicking. He's just thinking over here, like uh, there's a bed shed over there. I shoot this guy uh, up the air. There we go with HE. Good on you, buddy. Then ram into the bed shed. Oh no, yeah, just move away. Bro push the leopard into the jack pants even on it you could probably block the bet now yes you're gonna do that great stuff mate and then move around move around move around yes there we go can you now help the jack pants even on it yeah just a little bit yes 
Look into the body, ram into the better, into the leopard. So the Arkpanzer E100 is dead as an unknown player, which is unfortunate. 310 blocks from the Bedshed. Clear the leopard first, there we go. Great stuff and bounce. Yet another shot from that Bedshed. You were not lying, buddy. I must admit, you were not lying at all. You were really thinking about your actions. And this is. You see, it's not, not all guns blazing YOLO Rambo mode style, style, not OP replay at all. But you can see he's trying to side clip a little bit and go hull down behind the house and behind the leopard. It's not quite working out yet, but all in all, this is pretty sophisticated gameplay. And by now the damage is starting to look somewhat good. Yeah, AC, he knows what he's doing, but he knows what he's doing. Yeah, there we go. See, he knows what he's doing. It's not, uh, it's not AC, but he knew what he was doing because he's now bouncing APCR shots from the pet chat. He's not bouncing that one. He could have gone behind his dad, Effie, uh, to, to side flip a little bit more, but yeah. He's doing the right thing. And by the looks of it, that E100 on his team is not a brilliant player either. Or, well, either. I mean, he, this, this is a regular guy. He just started the game. He wants to go towards the E100 as quick as possible. And they are facing off against a Batchet now. And look what Nor Norsh is going to do here. He's going to set up over there. Sit like this. Side grip off the building, and as long as he doesn't get shot at the ass, he'll be fine. This E100 is sitting behind him now, not thinking, uh, not knowing what to do really. And we got one minute and 45 seconds left to see what is going to happen. And like I said, he had a bit of an enlightenment, enlightenment this game. He was uh, thinking about his actions <laughs> and evaluating things. And he tells the E100, rear flag. Attention to sector, sector 7. Oh, there's the yet. <laughs> What's going to happen? 1 minute 20 seconds left. The Batchet is spotted. Is he going to reset the cap? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Come on, Batchet, you know you want some. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 62, 64. 65, 66. Moves, says Norish to the E100. Don't get hit. Yeah, now is a good thing to move out. You will never be able to outspot the patch yet. The patch yet is stupid. And he gets outspotted himself. And then Arsh is thinking, alright, we can't do that. And the E100 has had enough. Because he is E100. He goes forward. And can he shoot this patch yet now? No, he can't. The object is a bit... Well, let's say that object is not that... Uh, they're pleased with how the team is performing. There we go. Boom. Yes, great shot into the patch yet. That's one. He has been reset, that's unfortunate, and you have to go for it, mate. You have to risk it for a biscuit. You can't just stay here and sit here. Don't, don't, don't run, don't run. Kill the bed chat. There we go, APCR, of course. There's the bed chat. Where is he? Is he? Blind shot. No. 50 seconds. You said it was a, was a, was a last second minute decision win, but this time is running out, buddy. Come on! One! Yes! <laughs> Look at that! Get some R3 Sparta medal as well. 3,396 damage dealt. And you sure were not lying about this. Last second kill. Please make video. Well, buddy, here it is. Great, great game played there. And yes, I think this was a well deserved R3. You played it to perfection. Maybe not in, in terms of. Bouncing, etc. But I, I think you get the general idea. <laughs> you get the idea. And talking about great games, I actually, I have to admit, I quite forgot about um, about the fact that I had recorded this one. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry I forgot I had recorded it because it's uh, it's a freaking epic game. And the reason for this is, um, the reason for it being an epic game is uh, because it is in uh, in the tank that can perform oh, great snapshot, the T-34-1, but he's also in a bottom tier game. I mean, Norse Dude was in a, a bottom tier game, but we're looking at Hyatt Assassin over here, as you can see, and he's in a, uh, he's in a bottom tier game as well on uh, Canal. And they've already lost two tanks. And there are tanks camping. You can see them in, uh, what's this, Sector 4. They are camping a little bit. 
Uh, there's a Panther M tank. He can't shoot that tank because he's behind a rock. The T-34-3 is moving in. The Panther M tank clears the Stor Emil. The Tiger 2 is over there. Oh, that's an IG-152. You do not want to get hit by... You do not want to get hit by... Because he's in, on the enemy team. Because he can shoot you. That's how the game works. That's why. And then you should not tie because now you have to face a full health Tiger 2 on your own and you've got 58 health left. That calls for a sip. Cheers and happy tanking. Good luck, buddy. And I know you sent me this game and said, well, Martin, you have to watch it until the end. But it was at this moment that I was thinking that you had fucked up. <laughs> and then you bounced this shot from the Tiger 2 and I started thinking, well, maybe he doesn't quite fuck it up. Because the T-34-1 is a bit of a cockroach, as you can see. It's such a freaking low slung tank, and as long as you don't get shot in the hatches, then you should be able to do this. But this Tiger 2 is doing the right thing by turning around. Yes. Oh, don't get rammed, don't get rammed. Yes. Right. Clears the Tiger 2. 3 versus 4. Should be doable. Should be somewhat doable. But he, you can see that Hyatt Assassin is in no no spot whatsoever to support his team there's two iso uh, isolated tanks now <laughs> there's one isolated tank now it's he has to do a one versus four and there's only one thing he can do now there's a tank closing in on the distance as well he is spotted by that asher 152 and there is another tank over here which was a pershing i think you have to clear that Pershing first, buddy. You have to clear... Oh, it's a Panther M-Tank. Oh, it's on the Pershing. That is good. It's a Panther M-Tank. I mean, the Pershing is a bit of a... Well, tricky tank to to, to really take out in T-34-2. And it's actually 152 is somewhat doing the right thing by trying to go over the edge and, and make it hard for you to shoot him. But then he loses his drive. It <laughs> sucks to be you, buddy. And then he bumps into an a, a Panther M-10, so he uh, is even more <laughs> easy... It's more, even more easy to, uh, to suck on you. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> he blows his load early. Ooh, that's lucky. That is lucky. The T-34-3 decides to use an AP shell rather than HE that bounces off your ass. And you're so lucky, buddy. This is got to be an epic game, I, I promise you guys. And, and the reason I'm featuring this one, because this is Hyde Assassin. And he's a good player, um, has done about 30k of games in total. So he's, he's by no means a beginning player like Nosh Dude was. But dare I say this is the game of your life? I think it is. I mean, it's freaking awesome. It, it really is awesome. And that goes to T-34-3 shooting at you. You should have done it a bit earlier, buddy. It would have been better, I think, because if you had shot HG a bit earlier, then you wouldn't have been uh, killed by here. Or you should have just waited for this Lerva to come, for this Lerva to move in. And here you can see the uh, the nature of the T-34-3. Look at that. Y you can practically hide your entire tank behind an IS chassis. And this, uh, this Lerva uh, cannot shoot you. And uh, <laughs> the shot's bouncing everywhere. They use on AP, he's gonna shoot him once and then bounce. One minute, 40 seconds left. Adrenaline is running, the Lerb is trying to look for a shot. And I think this Lerb probably should have gone backwards over here. Just go up on the ridge, try to get some uh, some some angle to shoot. Uh, yet another bounce off one with APCR. This, uh, this is going to end disastrous. It really is. Don't you think? Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Of course I'm joking. This wouldn't have been on a channel if it, if it if it wasn't an epic game. But but is it going to be a loss? No, of course not. Of course not. Because this is an awesome game, and this Lerb is now doing the right thing, pretending he is AFK, but he is not. Because no, he's not. He bounced on the front plate of Hide Assassin. Is this shot going to go in? Yes. There we go. He still needs two shots with APCR to kill this top tier tank, the tier 8 Lerbe, he is on 4 kills already, gets another shot in and certainly is going to die now, no, he bounces another shot, he bounces another shot off the front plate and he's going to kill the Lerbe now and he shoots him in the tracks which then absorb all the damage from the APCR shots, he is out of AP, he has burned through all his AP, he's going to get shot up the arse by the Lerbe now, but the Lerbe has got the gun depression, 27 seconds left, well played 34, that is... It's nice to say, IG-152, good sportsmanship over there, 
nice game for you, said the Amigo. Well, this is more than just a nice game. This is the game of your life. You've got 12 seconds left. Come on, Lerba. Come on, Lerba. Make it or break it. Risk it for a biscuit. Do or die. You know it. Yes, there we go. Woo! What an earth wrecking game. I loved it when I watched it at first. Look at that, a mastery, a, uh, a Top Gun, High Caliber, Redley Waters, Oskins Medal, as you can see, Kolobanov, Spartan, the lot, for 4,010 damage dealt, 1,401 base XP. Thank you very much, Hyde Assassin, for sending me that game. Just awesome. I'll see you all in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Universe. Bye-bye. Cheers. Happy tanking.